Today we're going to be talking about linear relationships and linear functions. Um, and you can probably understand that when looking at the term linear, we're talking about any type of function or relationship that exists in a straight line. So just by looking at this example graph quickly, um, you can see that the data is arranged in a straight line. Um, it's a little bit faded, but I don't mean straight in terms of horizontal or vertical. I just mean straight from point A to point B. It's not a curving line like this. It is a straight line. It's a line segment. So um, we're, we've moved on to the moving straight ahead textbook. And this is kind of the introduction here. It says, in variables and patterns, we read about the bicycle touring business. Remember, we had lots of examples about bike touring. And we looked at tables and graphs and equations to represent certain variables. Um, the relationship between variables that's represented by a straight line and a graph is called a linear relationship. So this is a great definition to have in your notes or a linear function. Um, a function is just another word for an equation. So whenever you see the word function, you can substitute equation if that helps you to better understand. Okay. And um, it says, from the graph, you can see that the relationship between the number of bikes rented, which is our independent variable, is related to the total cost. And it's a linear relationship. It's a linear function because the data forms a straight line. Um, so while we think about these notes, we're going to think about these two questions. How can you determine whether a relationship is linear by examining a table of data or an equation? So the equation, we kind of already did this here, right? We, we're looking at the equation, and we see that it's a straight line. Um, for, and the second question is, how do changes in one variable affect the changes in a related variable? And how are those changes captured in a table, a graph, or an equation? So um, there's three venues, really, to look at data. We looked at the graph. This is the graph of bicycle rental costs. And to tell whether or not the relationship is linear, we just check the data and see. Maybe use a ruler, line it up, make sure all the data points lie along the same straight line. In order to understand these changes in a table or an equation, we're going to take a look at some other examples. We have two tables here. This is still kind of walking data, right? So we have time in seconds as our independent variable, and we have distance in meters as our dependent variable. Now, as time is changing, time keeps increasing by one value point, right? To get from 0 to 1, we add 1. To get from 1 to 2, we add 1. To get from 2 to 3, we add 1. This is, this is a repeated process. But to get with the meters on the other side, um, to kind of see the pattern here from 0 to 2, is plus 2. From 2 to 9 is plus 7. From 9 to 11 is plus 3. This isn't really a pattern. Um, we're having an issue with this. So what we need to do is look at the relationship between one side to the other and think, is there a pattern there? Is there something that we can fill in between the x variable and the y variable that will allow us to view a pattern? Or is this something that we want to graph? Is this information that we need to check data points with? Because um, it doesn't look like it's really linear to me. So I'm just going to give myself oops, an axis here, just for some quick data sketching. Um, I need to go from 0 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then from 0 to 25. So I'm going to count by 5s on this side. Thank you. 
and I'm going to plot some rough points. I mean, these are really rough, right? I don't have a grid. I don't have an axis. I'm just kind of eyeballing everything. 2 to 9. 3 is 11. 4 is 20. 5 is 25. Now, when I look at my data, there's no true way for me to draw a straight line. If I draw a straight line from the first point to the last point, I'm missing some key points here. I have left out um, several data points that aren't exactly on the line. So no, this set of data is not linear. The second set of data goes 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 on our independent variable. So there's clearly a pattern of plus 2. And the dependent variable goes from 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. This is clearly a pattern of plus 3. So if I'm adding plus 2 to my independent variable, that means every data point I'm moving over two spaces to the right. If I'm adding plus 3 to my dependent variable, that means for every data point, I'm moving up three spaces. This is kind of like um, the mapping coordinates that we talked about. If I were going to graph this, this would definitely be linear. There's a pattern. It's consistent. Um, so this is a linear equation, or a linear data set, I guess we would say. Um, as we continue, we want to look at these equations briefly. These might look a little confusing to you. It would help to remember that when there's a number next to a variable and there's no operation between the two, it means multiplication. And I'm going to use the big girl multiplication sign. So what this equation is telling us that is that distance is equal to um, 2.25 times whatever variable we have for time. So time is our x value, distance is our y value. Um, so that means if I walked 0 meters, my distance is 0 times 2.25, which gives me 0, whatever our unit is. They didn't give us one in this problem. So if I walked for one second, um, my distance would be 2.25. If I walk for two seconds, my distance would um, be... You can make these assumptions, like plugging in some variables and figuring out, is there a pattern in our independent variable and is there a pattern in our dependent variable in this case there is because in our independent variable I'm going 0 1 2 I'm gonna plug in a 3 I'm increasing by 1 and in our dependent variable I'm going 0 2.25 4.5 I am increasing by 2.25 every time I increase my independent variable by 1 um, so there is a pattern in this equation, it would help to plug in some independent variable data points, just example points to see if you can identify a pattern. For the second equation, it says Bob's walking rate. I'm assuming time is equal to 100 divided by the rate. So um, again, if you have time is equal to 100 divided by rate, plug in some information. So if rate is zero, um, the time is actually undefined, right? You can't have zero in a denominator. If the rate is 1, 100 divided by 1 is 100. If the rate is 2, 100 divided by 2 is 50. If the rate is 3, 100 divided by 3 is 33.3. Um, I'm not seeing a pattern here. If the rate is 4, 100 divided by 4 is 25. So even though this 
side of the equation is increasing by 1. This side is changing. From here, it's minus 50. From here, it's minus 16.6. Um, From here, it's, it's not a consistent value. So it would not be a linear equation.